How do you build character in kids? You know, I get the chance to speak around the world, and uh, so often it's for big companies, it's for CEOs, it's for people who are in charge of things. You know, they want to talk about leadership, and uh, you know, I talk about who are you becoming and who are you helping the people around you to become. What kind of culture are you building? So often, though, I have stories woven in there about raising kids. You know, part of it is because I'm a dad and I have two young daughters, but really, part of it is this. One of the most important things we do in life is influence kids. William James said, most questions that philosophers fool around with aren't worth the time because they make no difference. But how do you build character in kids? That, that question makes all the difference, doesn't it? I mean, that question affects everything. And I think we have to step back sometimes and say, you know, I, I chase questions that are small, that are mediocre, that are meaningless, or that are selfish. right? But, but every now and then I think we need to step back and say, is there a bigger question that I should be pursuing? And that one, how do I, raise, how do I build character in kids? Maybe that one's worth pursuing. How, how are we doing with that one? I was just looking up a survey and, um, on this, and it, there's so many done, but one survey of 70,000 high school students around the United States found this. 95% of those kids, 95%. I mean, we're talking 19 out of 20 if you're a parent, your kids are probably in the 19 out of 20. I know most of us want to think, I, 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 uh, but 19 out of 20, 95% admitted to participating in some form of cheating. 64%, essentially just under two thirds, admitted to cheating on a test. About 60%, just under 60% admitted to some form of plagiarism. I do some a lot of work actually with kids and so often I'll get something submitted and I say, you know, the language, the language just radically shifted somewhere in there and I look up, I'll, I'll copy a phrase and I'll look it up and I'll find that, yeah, they copied it straight out of Wikipedia or straight out of some website, word for word. And, you know, they wrote maybe the first sentence or half sentence or maybe the first few sentences and then they said, wow, that's good and put that in there. And they took a whole paragraph, or maybe at most of their paper, they took straight from another source. How do you, how do you build character in kids? You know, and, and it forces us, that question, I think, forces us to say, are we? Are we? You know, or really, how are we doing with that as a culture? I've heard it said that the best way to measure a culture is by the people, it turns out. You know, you could call it the fruit on the tree. I think there are two answers to the question. I think there are two answers to the question. I think the answers are, are intentionally or accidentally. Intentionally or accidentally. And I think if you look back through your life, I think you'll find that maybe you had some family members or teachers or sports coaches who were pretty intentional about it. Maybe you didn't see it in the moment, right? You know, but I had a, had a baseball coach when I was 12. It was an all-star team, baseball all-star team, little league all-star team. You know, I was 12. I was seventh grade, I guess, maybe. Maybe just finishing sixth, I don't remember. But he, he had this thing in practice. He said, if, if you go home not dirty, you can't convince anyone that you actually practiced today. He said, if the ball is close enough to you that you might touch it with your glove, you know, on a ground ball or fly ball, he said, you better be diving. He said, if you're not exhausted at the end of a play going after the ball, maybe you haven't given it everything you got. He said, he said, essentially, he said over and over and over again, he said, don't, let's not fail for lack of trying. Let's not fail for lack of effort. You know, he said, don't strike out looking. I was 12. I was on an all-star team. And I, I, I remember one time saying to the coach, because sometimes he would give me a ride home from practice. I remember one time saying to him, you know, I see these major leaguers strike out looking. And he said, right, yeah. Who? And I told him, you know, whatever. And he said, um, he said, when you're making a million dollars a year, a couple million dollars a year playing baseball, 
Come back to me and we'll talk about this, if it's okay to strike out looking. He said, don't fail for lack of trying. You know, in other words, put everything you got out there. Put every, he, said, he said, I don't want you striking out and saying the referee, the umpire, you know, hey, it shouldn't have been called strike. He said, I, if it's close enough that there is a chance that umpire is calling it a strike, you try to get your bat on the ball. You try to get your bat on the ball. Oh, wow, what a lesson. I think there are two answers. How do you develop character in kids? How do you build character in kids? Intentionally or accidentally? Intentionally or accidentally? I don't think that coach was doing that accidentally. You know, but you've got experiences like that, don't you? From when you were a kid, you've got, you've got people, maybe an aunt and uncle, maybe a parent, maybe a, maybe a grandparent, maybe a teacher, maybe a, maybe a sports coach like this person, maybe a neighbor who would say, you know, pull you aside and say, um... Did you drop that straw? Let's pick it up, buddy. You know, how do you build character in kids? Either intentionally or accidentally. When uh, I was writing Who Are You Becoming? I started uh, digging into the concept of building courage in your family. And you build courage in your family intentionally or accidentally. You know, it, 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 see, see this question of how do you build character, it forces us to step back, I think, and ask, how are we really doing with that? You know, from my stats on kids cheating in school, maybe they think looking good is more important than being good. Maybe they've gotten that lesson from our culture. Did we do that intentionally or did we do that accidentally? You see, maybe they think that getting likes Getting comments on your Instagram, getting, you know, hitting streaks in Snapchat. Maybe they've been convinced intentionally or accidentally that that's a real measure of success. If we look at your family routines, if, it, if we looked at your thought time as a parent, and, I, you know, I'm, I'm smiling and I can't help but kind of laugh, but at the same time, take a deep breath because I'm, I'm talking to me. You know, if we look at my routines in my family, if we look at my thought time as a, as a dad and, and as a husband too, is it, is my character building, is it intentional or accidental? You know, am I teaching that it's okay to be late? Am I teaching my kids that it's okay to sign up for the travel team, right? Sign up for the whatever family event and then, oh, we can't make it, you know, and just last minute. How often I've had the chance to coach soccer quite a bit with my daughters. And how often do I get the, the message right before the game starts? Oh, we're not going to make it. Oh, we had something else today. Am I intentionally building character? or accidentally building character. If it's accidental, there's a very good chance. There's a very good chance it's not good character. It's a very good chance. You and I sit down. Just a week from now. See, so often building habits, and ha habits are character, right? Somebody asks me, what do you mean by character? I mean, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? The word character comes from, from an old uh, word in Greek. And the word essentially was, a, was about the mark that, let's say, a potter left on the bottom of his pot. Let's say he made coffee mugs, like mugs that would hold drinks. And this potter would, would leave this mark, this character, on the bottom of those mugs. And eventually people came to know that this person's stuff is good. This person's stuff lasts. This person's stuff is beautiful, is sturdy, or this person's stuff is junk, or this person's stuff is sometimes strong, durable, beautiful, sometimes garbage, sometimes looks great, but it's junk, right? The character, eventually that character, that mark became the, the message of who, who, who is this person? What are their habits? And for the most part, we build habits in little tiny chunks, in little tiny increments. So you and I sit down a week from now.
And I ask you the question this week, did you build character in your family, in your kids, intentionally or accidentally? I'd love, I'd love to have that conversation with you a week from now. And, I, and it would be a conversation. It would be a conversation because I, I'd love to have, to have you ask me the same exact thing a week from now.